Morphing is basically transitioning between two different ways that you have an amplifier set up, including the gain, any kind of EQ settings, volume settings, and that also includes all of the effects that are associated with that preset. So in other words, if you have a uh, delay or reverb or anything like that, you can actually change the settings on those and morph between a dry signal all the way up to a wet signal on all of those different effects. Let me show you how to do that. So down here on slot one, you have two lights. The bottom light is your bass tone. In other words, that could be like your dry signal per se on a rhythm tone. Up here on this light, let me hit that, that is your morphed version of that same amplifier and all of the effects that are associated with that amplifier. And this will stay this way until you hit the switch again and go back down to your base setting. And how fast it transfers between these two settings is up to you. You can set that up to 30 seconds all the way down to instantaneous and anywhere in between. Okay, so one of the quick examples I want to show you is let's say you want to go from a dry crunch rhythm into a wet crunch rhythm tone, maybe something with some chorus, reverb, and delay on it. You want to turn on all the effects that you're going to use for the morphed version of your tone. So we said we wanted delay, reverb, and chorus. So turn those all on. Now I know you're still on your bass tone, so the first thing you want to do is turn the mix of all of those down in your bass tone, okay? So the mix is down on all of those. So even though they're on, you will not hear those effects because again, the mix is all the way down. So now we're gonna go and push this button and turn on the morphed version of this tone, which is the top light. So now we're gonna go through all of these different effects and we're gonna turn the mix up on those and you'll see a little letter next to the changes that I'm making, the numbers, and it says M. And that means that those are your morph settings. Okay, so I'm gonna turn the reverb mix up to 27.8. I'm gonna to go to delay and turn that mix up to whatever I think is appropriate for that. And I'm gonna do the same thing with chorus. So I'm gonna turn the mix level up on that. Now I'm just changing these parameters just for the video's sake, but you can change any parameters that you want. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and back out of this, go back down to here. And because we want this transition to take 10 seconds, what you want to do is hit rig, and then you want to program the rise time to 10 seconds. You can go up to 32 seconds for this, and you can do the same for going down. So right there we got 10 seconds, and let's say we want the fall time, in other words when we switch back to our bass tone, we want it to happen instantly. You can just turn that down to zero. And now, as soon as you go back out of the morphed version of your tone, it will go back down instantly and seamlessly. So there you go. That's basically how you do it. So when I push this, you'll see this light gradually fade up into the brighter version, which means it's gradually fading into the morphed version of your tone. Takes 10 seconds to do that. And then watch what happens when I go back down instant. Okay, so let me show you the same kind of thing with gain. So let's say you're on your bass tone here and you want something that's kind of a low gain, kind of chunky riff setting, but then you want to go into something that's a little more aggressive. So all you have to do is go from your bass tone to your morph tone by hitting that button, top light comes on, and you can dial in the gain the way you want it in that setting. And in this case, we're going to have it change in two seconds, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and go back down here. So as you can see, we're on our bass tone here and our gain is set right here, but as soon as I hit morph, you can see the gain going up. And you can make that go anywhere from instant to 32 seconds. So here's a quick example of what happens when you hit the morph button after you've done some programming. Take a look at how the gain of the amp and the mix of the delay pedal change as I hit morph. Now let me go back down to the bass tone. 
So that's basically what happens when you morph. And again, you could do that with any of the parameters that are associated with the amplifier that you're using, including EQ, volume, gain. Uh, you can do that with all the effects that you have on. So like if you want to go from um, a small version of delay all the way up to a really big version of delay, you can do that. All of it is very easily changed with the morph feature. And just remember to save all your changes by hitting the store button here so that it saves everything. Well, I hope this information helped you and to all of my subscribers, thank you very much. I appreciate you and if you haven't subscribed, please do and click the bell so that you can be notified every time we come out with new episodes. I'll see you on the next one.